Hi, it's Following the Paper Trail with Laura, and I have a new mini that I want to show you. This is one of my Z Fold minis that uses the 6x9 envelopes and the change envelopes in that kind of buff um, goldenrod kind of color. Then it's got, you know, the binding um, flange on there so you can bind it either and you bind it all or in rings either way. Um, I do have a tutorial on how to make this, so check that out. I will get that up on my... my um, blog. I promise, I promise, I promise. My kids have been home this week, so it kind of, my schedule's kind of in flux. So one of the things I love about this is to be able to, to flex my schedule with, you know, what my family's needs are and that sort of thing. Anyway, um, this one is called Global, um, oh, good grief. Oh, Global Treasures. Okay. Old Age Brain Fart. Anyway, Oh, I probably shouldn't say, say it that way. A brain putter. Okay, so um, <laughs> this one has some cool lace. It has a, some large flowers, foliage, leaves, butterfly. It's cool beetle stamp and a whole bunch of cool charms. So let me first show you the papers in there. And I love these papers. This is some of my favorite group of papers. They've been around for a while. I've had them for several months and have been just waiting for the right kit to put them in. So anyway, this one um, has all double-sided papers and they're just in yummy, spicy, kind of makes you think of Casablanca and Marrakesh and Morocco and Bombay. The Bombay is now called Mumbai, but Bombay sounds so much cooler than, than Mumbai, but I'm digressing and I tend to do that when I get tired. Anyway, plum and then some creamy tans, olives, they've got kind of ghostly flourishes, have a real distressed feel to it, kind of a straw basket color. Love this tomatoy red. It's so yummy. This has kind of the Moroccan tile kind of feel to it. Cinnamony color. There's more of that octagonal tile. These are all just so, so, so pretty. I just love these colors. I'm a, you know, redhead, so I naturally gravitate towards these kind of colors. But they are just Yummy. Here's like an old zebra skin and that cinnamon color again. Love this shade of purpley plummy color. I guess if you had to hold a gun to my head and tell, ask me what my favorite color was, probably would be purple, shades of purple. But it varies from day to day and week to week and project to project. It was what my favorite color is. There's so many colors out there. And then there's a black um, 6x12 solid. Because these envelope minis tend to be um, pretty paper intensive, that's why I give you 6x12s. This is to be doing the um, little binding flanges, is what the 6x12 black is for. Um, oops. Then I also have some 6x6 card stocks coordinating in that plum, that kind of earthy chocolate, the cinnamon, a tan, an olive, and that tomatoey red. I'm also going to be giving you some stamped, four stamped in gold images of that beetle. I love that beetle. He is so, so cool. He was a um, unmounted rubber stamp that I have, so I have no clue whose it is. I got it several years ago. Um, so I apologize. Don't email me asking me whose it is because I don't know. Um, but here he is. I cut him out. I didn't cut out every little itsy bitsy piece, but I cut him out. I also took some embossing. Um, pad and just rub my finger on it and, and then did some um, kind of purpley greenish um, colored embossing on his back to give him that iridescence. I also did some distressing with some, it's called bronze, but it looks like copper to me, um, UD. And I basically took that embossing pad and just like I was embossing or distressing the edges, did that with the embossing pad and then sprinkled the UD on and heated it up just enough to where it melted to the, um, the cardstock. It's just the raw cardstock. I then sp sprayed it with um, Raven Glimmer Mist, which is a black with just a kind of a touch of a purple glimmer to it. So it just gives it just a hint of sparkle. Um, but, you know, God, I love my Glimmer Mist. Love my Glimmer Mist. I'm going to come work for them. Um, you're also going to get two of the, the Black Core 6x8 um, cardstocks. It's fun kind of working with this larger scale. Um, I also like the larger scale on the inside as well. You're going to get the five um, change uh, envelopes and the five six by nine envelopes. Um, you're also going to be getting, um, in terms of binding it, you can bind it with your bind it all or with rings. I also have some hemp cord in here, so you can bind it with this. 
don't smoke it now. Um, I've got a ton of foliage in this one, and it's the best way to describe it is this foliage. I have this really cool, lifelike looking fern. Um, and it actually has a joint in the middle. So I just pulled it apart at the joint, used the tip part on my cover, and I'm going to cut these little, little fronds off and use those on tags and such. There's also some silk, excuse me, fern fronds. Bunch of flowers. This big, huge purple, I think it's a Heidi Swap, I'm not positive, um, a purple silk one, a Prima one that I sprayed, um, that's on my cover, and it's sprayed with red velvet, Pashima, um, pine cone with a iridescent gold over the top, um, just to give it some glow, as if it doesn't, didn't need enough at four colors. Ah, uh, can you tell I love my glimmer mist and my, my stickles? Um, anyway, um, some red ones some deep dark brown ones, these cool olives with rust color edges, some sagey velvet larger size ones, some cream ones, and some dusty purple, a handful of the dusty purple ones. There's also some cool ribbons and braids and laces. So let me do those next. Yummy. This is a gorgeous taupe. You got six inches of this taupe lace. I know 20,000 of you will email me asking me where I got this. So I'll tell you now, I did get this one at Joann's. Surprise, surprise, surprise. But um, not all Joann's are created equal. We have about seven of them here in the Seattle area, and not all of them carry this. So your Joann's may or may not carry this. It is yummy. Um, there's some black braid. This is one of my all-time favorite laces. Love this. Doesn't that look kind of like, they, they're flat, and they look like little tassels. This Glimmer Mist, gorgeously. Absolutely gorgeous. It's, oh, I love that stuff. Love it, love it. Some of the little tiny purple pom-poms. And some white brown lace as well. There's quite a few ribbons. There's a chocolate organza, a copper organza, a cinnamon double-sided satin, a red double-sided satin, and a plum satin. And I just dropped one. A tan with a white thread, a uh, skinny one. Then on the fibers, I have some special fibers. I have some regular fibers in red, copper, tan, plum, chocolate. Those are absolutely yummy in and of themselves. But then I have these special ones that I got at a um, Sew so Expo a couple years back, and I'm really excited to be able to share these with you. These are uh, made in Nepal by Ladies in Nepal to, you know, make a living. Um, and they're actually scraps left over from clothing and komodos. They are silk, 100% silk. They're spun into three different um, levels of kind of cord. This one's really spun tightly into like a, almost like a yarn, but it is very nubby, very textured, very homespun. Then there's ones that are not quite as spun quite as tightly. Um, and you can see like the joints is where it switches colors. These are silk. Silk dyes and has a life to it that no man-made fiber can have or even one a plant type fiber can have silk is just you know made by worms so it's cool um and then there's this ones that aren't spun at all and these are just totally cool these all vary from kit to kit as to what colors are in them but they're all silk so they're all absolutely yummy 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 okay in terms of the good the rest of the goodies you've got these rooster feathers I'm sure they come from our chicken industry. They're domestic roosters. Um, but they have um, kind of a cinnamon color with that iridescent foresty green blue. Oh, they're just yummy. So there's five of those. Love those. There's the black book plate like I used on my cover. As I said, I used UD on this outside part. And then I just kind of did a overall backgroundy kind of stamp here. And then that, um, that beetle goes. Let me show it to you again real quick. See, then the beetle's over the cover. I'm so excited how this cover came out. I'm just ecstatic. Um, ton of charms. Kind of picking up the flavor of the thing. There's a couple of kind of Chinese coin-like ones. There's an elephant, and the elephants vary from kit to kit. There's these really cool kind of soft, sagey green seashells. These are so pretty in person. The camera's not going to do it justice. Um, and I made them into a charm for you. They were beads. And then there's red leaves. There's... A swirly paper clip, a brass one, a purple one, a brass safety pin, a Tim Holtz swivel clasp, a Tim Holtz clipper clasp, for want of a better word. Giant red bling. There's then, there's gold, green, 
purple, round bling, large red square bling, and smaller red square bling. One of the blossom wood butterflies, these are varying. And then a whole bunch of um, brads because you need those um, on the envelopes to make them into the pockets. So anyway, this is the kit. If you are at all interested in this kit, you can go to my Etsy store at followthepapertrail.etsy.com. And one last thing while I still have a couple seconds, I am not leaving YouTube. Ustream, I've had a lot of people freaking out that I'm leaving YouTube, going to Ustream. I'm doing both. Ustream is just a live show that I'm going to be doing. I can do it for longer. It's going to be recorded so you can go watch it. Don't have to show up for that. There's not going to be a charge for the classes I'm going to do. I'll put more information on my blog. But I'm not leaving YouTube. I'm just going to do a little bit of both. I think I'm crazy. So anyway, um, check out this at my Etsy store. And we'll see you soon. Thanks a bunch.